What do you say, baseball fans? Rye Bread Talking Baseball, Episode 10. Don't forget, Sunday Fun Day out at Route 66 American Bar, Itaewon, Seoul, South Korea, Line 6. You can find it easy. Today, we're looking at our rivalries and celebrating Sean Kazmar's return to the major leagues after 12 years in the minors since his debut. Amazing story. But, of course, you know I want to start in the Bronx. Last Yesterday's game, excuse me, was ugly. The weather didn't seem nice. It just was one of those days across the board. Glasnow did not have any of his stuff. He didn't have anything working, and he goes out there, self-corrects, powers through five innings, and gets the W. It was such a performance. My goodness. He's a horse. An absolute horse. Just put the team on his back for five innings, showed all kinds of heart, got a cramp in his glove hand, gave me a heart attack, refused to come out of the game. He could have easily come out of the game there. He didn't. Pitchers who can win when they don't have their best stuff are the ones that are the the horses, the aces. You don't need your best stuff, they still get the win. He didn't have any of his stuff. I guarantee the next time the Yankees see this guy, he will be sharper than he was yesterday. I have a feeling that's the worst control outing he's going to have. He walked four guys. It kind of plagued him early in his career, trying to put his big body to work. But my goodness, he self-corrected in the middle of a major league game and pulled it out. It was amazing. Joey Wendell stayed hot. Joey, my boy. Amazing game for Joey. (laughs) I love this guy. And then the young catcher goes oppo. My goodness, his name's escaping me now. How is his name? Mejia. My goodness, thank God. Mejia goes oppo. If that guy starts hitting like he was supposed to hit as a prospect, that's dangerous. Absolutely dangerous. The Rays would love to see that. Margot stayed hot. Look out for Manuel Margot. Don't take my word for it. Take Kevin Cash's word for it. Manuel Margot is a dangerous player, and he's heating up. Tonight, though, or today, excuse me, there's going to be a bullpen game against Cole. Cole, in his $36 million, well-deserved, every penny earned salary against the Rays' $67 million total payroll. I'm not being funny either. Cole is worth every penny of that. He's amazing. The Yes Network could write that check tomorrow and not even feel it. That's not the issue. The issue is the Rays are, are overperforming their value so incredibly. But I expect that the Yankees will right the ship today and get a win. They better. My God, what are the papers going to do to the Yankees? What are they going to throw on the field if they don't win today? My goodness, I don't even want to know. Out West with Spicy. But I got to side with Kershaw. That was fertilizer, man. From my perspective, that looked like a Bush League hack. That was Bush, man. I can tell you two things that I could do at the major league level. Get hit by a pitch. I could manage to get hit by a pitch and get on base. I could manage that once, Conforto. And I could hit the catcher's glove with my bat intentionally if I was trying. That could happen. I don't know if I'd get away with it, but I could make it work. And if the ball hit me, I would get my base. So I found two things I can do at the major league level. And Profar kind of doubled down, barking back. He had to know that that was a bad look. But... It makes it spicy. I like it. All I want to know is, if you're a Padres fan, how are you getting out of bed today? How are you feeling today? You could be 2-0 because these have been very close games. There's no doubt that the Padres and the Dodgers on the field play competitive baseball. That's not the issue. The mental part of it is still at issue. Mookie Betts goes Superman with an amazing catch. If you're a baseball fan, you've seen this catch 30 times already. My goodness, Mookie Betts. But save the game, and now it's 2-0 Dodgers, just like it always is, or seems to be. So, as close as the teams seem to be on the field, the mental hurdle is still there, and the Dodgers still own this series and the division until the Padres start winning games. And I hope the Padres do start beating the Dodgers and make this a long-fought rivalry. But 
they have to win some games. And there's a lot of season left. I think the Padres are going to win some games against the Dodgers. I'm just <laughs> waiting. The first one's hard to get there. Let's get it done. I'll be watching. But the good news, Sean Kazmar, if you're not familiar with this guy, he's the modern-day Crash Davis. Dude's been in the minors for 12 years. He debuted in 2008. So the Rays have been to the World Series two times since this guy had an AB in the show. And there he was for the Braves yesterday against the Cubbies. And it was a great moment. He grounded into a double play, completely irrelevant. What a feel-good story that this guy just slogging away in the minors for 12 years. Tell me the guys in that clubhouse don't respect the hell out of that guy. My goodness. I'm, I'm so happy for him. I hope he gets a couple of hits and sticks around. I'll be watching that. Uh, look at it. Sean Kazmar. I'll put the story in the comments because it's awesome. It's a feel-good story for a Sunday. Check it out. I was going to move on and bury the Mets for their front office thing, but that's not my lane. I could care less about the Mets. But I do care about DeGrom. They finally picked up DeGrom, and it was great to see. 14 Ks, finished the day with nine in a row. He basically had to do it himself. Left the game and it behind, but finally they come through for him. The Mets come through for DeGrom, get him a lead. He ends up getting the win. It's the first time since 2015 that the Mets have come back and gotten one for their guy. And wow, did he deserve it. And he has a massive statistical overcorrection coming just naturally, does DeGrom. So I hope he gets some momentum and strings some together because this guy is a wizard. He was ridiculous with the fastball yesterday. You have to see it. If you're a baseball fan, I'm not telling you anything you don't know about DeGrom but he was on it yesterday late it was gross as I like to say but uh, a good episode today of talking baseball thanks for tuning in get at me at rye bread 0844 uh, we'll be looking for you on Twitter we're gonna do 162.